Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? So, welcome back to today's episode, right, where we will, you know, do things a little bit differently, right? Today, we will be discussing about how do you create multiple sources of income from trading, but without trading. I know that sounds intriguing, that sounds weird, right? So, let me explain. So, there are a few ways to go about doing it, right? Number one, what you can do is to be an affiliate, right, for a product, services that you use or you believe it. So what do I mean by an affiliate? So uh, an affiliate, you can think of it as like a middleman, a broker. So let's say you're using brokerage XYZ. You think that brokerage is good, right? And your know, service is, is awesome, withdrawal is fast, and you want to recommend it to a friend. If your friend sign up with brokerage XYZ, they put in some money, trade a live account, guess what? You can get paid for it. Yep, that's right. You can get paid for recommending something that you believe in. Yep, so that's one way. Another way could be, let's say you are using TradingView charting platform. They have a pro version, premium version where you have to pay money for it. Maybe you recommend to a, a family member, right? Your brother likes it. He signs up for the pro version. Guess what? You can get paid as well. All you need to do as an affiliate is to share your special uh, affiliate link. It's a special unique link. And when people purchase through that link, right, you get paid. Simple as it is. So clearly the upside of being an affiliate is that there's little to no work involved all you need to do is copy the link and paste it and if someone buys great right you don't have to worry about the technology part or whatsoever the downside to this is that for affiliate to make decent money you need to have an existing audience someone who knows you because if you're just like you know someone who just got into trading probably you only have your family and friends once those network expires right who are you going to share your link with so the downside to being an affiliate is that you must have an sizable existing audience Next one, courses, right? You can offer courses as well, trading courses, especially when you, you know, become a consistently profitable trader. There is a market, right, for people who wants to learn how do you trade it, right? You know, whether it's, is it forex trading, options trading, stocks trading, they want, they want to learn your strategy, your methodology, and they're willing to pay money for it. So you can create an online digital course, right, explaining your concepts, how you do it, how you trade it whatsoever. And the beauty about courses is that your margin is higher because you don't have to share the profits with anyone. It's pretty much all yours. Unless you have to pay, you know, for, for certain expenses, like maybe your website, your blog, or any stuff that you might have. But once you deduct all those, the rest is yours. The downside to courses is clearly there's a lot of work involved. You have to, you know, build the pages of your website. You've got to know your stuff. You've got to upload videos. You've got to, do, you know, do a lot of work behind the scenes. Yeah, so, so, so bear that in mind when you are, you know, going down this route of creating courses. At the same time, right, maybe if you don't want courses, right, you don't want so much work a lot, what you can do is, you know, number three, private mentoring or a group coaching session maybe just one-to-one -one coaching this way you can do it over a skype call you can do it even in person right if the person lives in the same country as you again the upside is again high margin i think pretty much all the profit is yours you don't have to share with anyone there's little to no expenses uh you overcome the issue of you know the technology part of you know how do you create a certain page a website you don't have to know all that because you can just do it one-to-one -one. however the downside is a scalability issue there's only so many number of people that you can, you know, do a one-to-one -one coaching with, right? Given your fixed amount of time each day. So that is a, a downside to it. Uh, the next one, right? The fourth one, advertising. So what you can do is that once, this is really for you, those who have already a sizable audience. Maybe you are uh, someone who has a huge following on YouTube, Twitter, whatsoever, or Facebook. Uh, what you can do is, you know, advertise, you know, products or services, right? Maybe your website gets, you know, X amount of visits each month. You can put an advertising banner, get paid for it. Or in, on YouTube, right? If you have you know, a certain number of subscribers, right? You can actually put advertising banners. People watch it, you get paid as well. So the upside to advertising is again, a little to no work, right? There's really not much work to do it. But to build to that level, right? There's a lot of work. But to on that advertising feature, to switch it on, that's what I mean by little to no work, right? But to get to that stage where you have a sizable audience, yeah, that takes a lot of work, okay? And uh, the upside is also is that you don't have to worry about the technology. It's all pretty much done for you. But the downside, again, is that you must have a sizable audience, right, before you can go to that that this uh, this stage, right, where you want to take money from advertisers, okay? So so these are, you know, four different paths that you can consider affiliates, right, uh, courses, uh, mentoring, or advertising. I'm sure there are more out there which I missed, right? But I would say these are the four pretty common ones. And here's the thing, right? It doesn't have to be trading related, right? You can apply this to any, any niche out there. Maybe you are an expert in playing the guitar. Hey, you could create courses on, you know, how to play certain notes on the guitar. You can, you know, do a one-to-one -one mentoring with people who wants to learn how to play the guitar. Or maybe you're really good at Excel. You can create those funny looking, awesome macros, right? People want to learn it. They want to do it themselves. You can teach them via a course, a private mentoring. And, or maybe you believe in certain uh, products out there, maybe some special guitar pick or some special guitar that, you know, has amazing uh, 
sound effect or whatsoever, I, I do not know, right? You can be an affiliate for those guitar companies as well. So you can see that really the, the possibilities out there is endless. All you need to do is open your mind, right? And you will see that, yeah, there's really a lot of ways that you can make money from trading without trading or from your own skill set as well. All right, so with that said, I hope... You know, it made you think deeper about, you know, uh, trading as a means to an end. There are other ways to it, right? So I wish you good luck, good trading, and hey, talk to you soon.